Hi there. So we're going to take a look at some of the statues real quick that we have. These are found in North Carolina. These are statues of humans, just like the Mayans and the Olmecs created statues. Uh, the people in North America and Canada did as well. I think that focused a little better for us. So you can see that there's a portrait of a, of a woman there. And if you look on the top there, there's actually a bird on top of her head as well. A little feather here to kind of point out the eye for the bird. So the shadows have to be just right. But there's a, a carved in eye and the, this is the beak of the bird, just like you see right here in the photograph. So we have a couple of the gateway style portraits out here. And these are just to kind of get everyone's attention real quick. To let everyone know that hey yeah this is a it's a real thing and maybe the flame might be able to help to see some of these images Perhaps. so this is not just the portrait of the face that you guys are seeing here on the left hand side but it's also a headdress so you can see that there's feathers and things coming down as well and he's wearing like a hat on top of his head there Kind of just poke him out right there and you can see how those white stripes denote the feathers coming in the back there. I have a few of these statues. If you look actually closely at the hat, the hat is a bird. The Just like the woman's statue there, there's a bird right there. If you look, there's the wing. You can always see that how the wing is denoted there and the little bird with the little eye carved in there or colored in there rather. This is a piece of white quartz. This one's a little tougher to see. Sorry if my video is shaking around a little bit. Got this contraption on so that I can use both my hands. So course you can see the little diagram there so you see how his eyelash is upside down you can see how his eyelash is upside down in there you see it better in a bright light but there's a person a profile image of a person right there there's his mouth and his chin and his jawline and everything right there and this is a big old bird hat on top of his head it's like what we're seeing here but let's go ahead and turn him over and see if maybe he resembles more of a human since that eyelash kind of was upside down there perhaps there's a portrait of a so you can always tell it's a woman because you see like the curvy features the pointy nose sometimes it's an upturned nose and I mean, the features of a woman so you can probably see a carved in eye or a colored in eye down below, down here. A little nose poking out, a little mouth, and then the rest of this is a big hairdo. Let's try some other images as well. Of course there are. It's a pretty neat piece. When this piece is wet on the back of it, it does have a, like a, this little polished section back here and it has a photorealistic eye and everything on it but you can't see it unless it's wet but we have that on an earlier video so we've looked at a lot of these gateway pieces before we've seen a lot of these statues of women um of course we see this one here you can see the drawing behind it how it resembles this portrait here if you look closely there's different eyes, so you see this the whole thing, which kind of looks pretty rough. But then if you see how this inside edge here, this inside edge is another portrait. So as you tilt it, you'll see that there's another eye actually right here. See how it's wisped up? See the wisp going upwards? Kind of like an Egyptian style eye that's common that's a theme here. You 
So this is how these statues work, and a lot of times there's birds on the head. That's the eye for the bird. The other side of this also has a faint painted on woman, but so these these outside images that I'm showing you are just the outside images. There's much more and they go much deeper. These are just the ones that are on the outside just to get your attention. Not for me to get your attention, for but for these people, these this culture to get your attention. So if you guys are having a good holiday, I am. I got my Christmas tree up. Um, but whatever holiday you guys are celebrating, I hope you guys are having a good one. So you can see his clay pack still existing for his eye. You can see the, the eye there for his clay pack. So this is pulled out of the clay on site. There's videos that show where I pull these out of guys. You guys know that there was a mound that was uh, being destroyed for a housing development. <clears throat> and that's where I found all these at. I didn't know about the mound when I started finding all these. And I turned around and saw the mound. I was like, oh my gosh, no wonder why I'm finding all these. So you can see that these sandstone ones are much different than the gateway ones. A lot of times they're much more defined. You can see the eye, of course, carved in. I, mean, I don't think I have to point this one out to you guys, right? <laughs> You got the nose and the lips and stuff. So these sandstone ones, so the way that you look at them is you look at them as if you're looking over the shoulder. That's the way they get the best definition. So you can see that how that eyebrow comes out there. And that's the way that you look at them as if you're looking away from the person. So you only get a, a faint, a faint view. And as you tilt it further, you can get different images. And it's kind of like a guide as you go further, but this outside image here you can see the carvings for the eye of course and right there in the uh in the middle there so interesting piece this is north american native art i mean their culture rivaled the mayans and the aztecs it's just that our history unfortunately like kind of dismissed a lot of north american art and so it's, um, you know, I show everybody this, this statue, this girl, and some people pick it up right away. Some people don't. My mailman here, uh, definitely pick it up right away. Um, and I, you know, I make probably 25% of the subscribers that I have are people that I've met on the street or just people that I know. And um, that I've been able to show these two in person and they're like, oh my god, are you serious? So, uh, hi, you guys, and everything's going good. Hope everything's going good with you guys, too. But I, I meet people because I travel, so I meet people all over and I bring these out to them and show them and they get a kick out of it, for sure. It's pretty amazing stuff, so, um... Just want to shout out to those people for sure and uh to all the new people that are around got a lot of different artifacts here to show you guys i try not to show you guys the same things over and over again but some of these more defined ones are um you know the ones that kind of everybody almost needs to see so this is a male you know we have these small female statues that are about hand size this is a male version of that and get the lighting right you can see so he has what is the shelf eye he's got a couple different faces on him he's got the big face and then he's got some more so what we'll have to do is we'll turn him around a little bit at this level and then we're gonna zoom in we're gonna zoom in on him just a little bit so there are women as well on this, you can see always those little indentions for the lips and the carvings for the eye. I'm going to zoom in now so you can see the carving for the eye there. Mm -hmm. So once you see a nose poking out, you know, you look for those lips. You look for the little tiny indention for the lips and then you look for the eye. You know, you kind of put it together and then you see where the line for the hair is. And then you see all the hair coming back. You can see cheekbones. You can see the statue. It's an actual little small statue of a person. <laughs> and it's pretty amazing, and it's hard to believe. 
but um, this art is a real thing and more and more of us are being able to communicate and talk about it. This 3D art isn't accessible to everybody. For some reason, a lot of people do have a hard time seeing it. But um, yeah, keep an open mind, forget what you know, and really just go out and look because this stuff is everywhere. Maybe not these gateway style pieces. I haven't seen these anywhere else yet other than in North Carolina. However, there are several other lithic artifacts that are all over the place. So this is one that we still have to figure out. I can see the, the very defined eye carved in in the middle there, but I don't, you know, they, they don't make something that looks so weird like this. So trying to figure out exactly maybe what this one might be. My, of course, you know, you see this thing back here, so it's probably long hair. So I am kind of seeing a profile with a really tall hair. Get my fingers out of the way here. So this is the way that we look at the art as if we're looking over the shoulder. So tilt it up and down and try to see. So yeah, I mean, you can kind of see an eye and a nose and then maybe the mouth down there with the rest of this being hair. The eye in here, maybe. That's how far you would tilt something this, this flat. You would tilt it almost to the edge, you know? And that's the way these are. There, a lot of these are flat like this. So pretty interesting stuff. Guys, thanks for joining me. We're going to try to figure out exactly what this one is. It has some very interesting shapes on it, but it doesn't have anything like super apparent, right? You tell it something, but you're just not sure what it is. <laughs> and that, that happens to a lot of these. So real quick, we'll go over this um, as a bonus here. So it's like a Mount Rushmore style. A lot of times they don't make ones that are just facing right at you, but this time they did. But there's more about this totem here. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at him. So on a section of him, we tilt him just right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on a brighter light. Okay. So with him... So what we're looking at is the eye, sorry for the bounciness, the eye right here, this big eye with the lashes, and you'll see how it's curved up just like the other one that I showed you there. If I get the shadows just right there, you'll be able to see the eye. A little away from the light a little bit, perhaps. So the face for that eye is right there. So, you know, you see the nose poking out. You're like, well, where's the eye? There's the eye. You can see the eye pretty, pretty well there with the pupil and the lashes sticking up. And then you look for the little indention for the lips, a little crack for the lips, and you always find it. Doing my best with the shadows that we have here, guys. But some of these different lights here will help you see the definition. Different shadows will help you see different parts of the definition of the carvings for that eye. So it's very detailed, like jeweler specifications, right? I'll try to do a quick zoom in, but we're closing in on 15 minutes. So I've got one more piece I want to show you real quick. All right. And this one here, real quick, is very beautiful. <laughs> just a just a rock, right? That's what you see. It does have faces on it, and it actually has a hole in it. And in this hole, there is a green for a pupil. And so you can see if you're just looking at this section, how right when you get that grain out for the pupil, the nose and the little mouth sticks out there. There's several different images on this, but that's a pretty neat one. Oops, sorry. Let's 
So because that hole is there and it has that little green in it, it makes it a, a kind of an interesting piece. It also has like a pretty, pretty neat little laughing face on it. It's just a happy little piece. <laughs> Not sure who made these, where they came from, but we can see the carvings on them. If we look closely, you can see how those little faces made out of these stones. And it's uh it's kind of scaring all of our archaeologists. It's freaking everybody out. And no one really knows what to say about it. So uh, if anyone wants to talk to me about it my email is in the channel description so i hope to chat with you guys soon have a great holiday bye bye